Hi students, this is Dr. Justin, your faculty from cardiology. As you are all aware, there are just under 60 days left for the NEAT Super Speciality Entrance Exam scheduled on November 13th and 14th, 2021. Most of you have your strategies in place for the 60 days uh, before the exam and I'm sure you're all doing your best. I think a few of you would have received a small jolt a little over a week ago when the NEED Super Speciality brochure announced a change in the exam pattern. Uh, those of you who have been preparing devoutly for close to a year or even more than a year for the Super Speciality subjects of your choice, um, reading either Brown Balls or Figalis or Williams, you would have felt that your efforts have not been rewarded and it is a little unfair to you. But this is not true. This is not true because you guys are already at an advantage. You guys are already at an advantage because two of the subjects, or at least one of the super specialist subjects in medicine, you are much better prepared than the rest. So in the upcoming 60 days, you can afford to have the luxury of spending less time with the subjects that you're already better prepared for because you have prepared for them at the super speciality level and all that you need to answer now is at the postgraduate exit level so you are definitely at an advantage you can devote more of your time to the other subjects to general medicine in the upcoming days while your counterparts will have to devote their time to the entire uh, field of medicine so you are at an advantage and for those of you who have just completed your MD um, exams and are fresh pass outs and have spent less than a year preparing for super speciality entrance, this change in pattern as an announcement actually is in your favor officially and practically because all that you have to do is improve upon your revision of MD medicine as a whole and you do not need to read super speciality textbooks or resource materials or videos on various platforms so overall this so-called headline which was hot about a week ago is now lukewarm a week later and as most headlines will cool off in the time to come so this is not something that is unfair to either of you and the map board can change patterns even in the upcoming years bringing back super speciality prep uh, preparation or not and so it should not come as a shock to you if it happens before the exams. This has happened in the past and it can happen in the future as well. What matters is the confidence at which you are prepared. That is the first thing I'd like to say. The second thing is uh, that I'm not here to give you a motivational Sathar Minute ka video by Shah Rukh Khan, but my point is to tell you that there is something similar. You have sat din or less than 60 days left. And what I would suggest is that in the initial 20 days or so, you can still afford to focus upon topics that you have not uh, prepared or not visited, chapters that you have you feel that are important and you have not read. Um, you can sail into territory that is uncharted to make yourself familiar with things that are high yield. Now, it is not probably appropriate on my part to tell you the names of topics that you should read because each student has prepared differently. Each of you guys are strong in some and weak at some subjects. And that is why the ones that you are weak at, I think you still have 20-25 days to prepare and strengthen your comprehension, your concept-based learning on. For this purpose, you have uh, the access to your textbooks, to MCQ uh, chapter-wise books that actually enhance your comprehension, as well as the prep ladder videos. Now, as you're aware, there are more than 600 hours of videos on prep ladder, and it's probably not feasible at this point of time to cover 600 hours of video at the rate of about two hours a day uh, in the upcoming 60 days you would practically be able to complete about 100 hours of video so choose the topics that you need to go through uh, have a look at about 100 hours of video of the 600 that we have prepared for you we have uh, prepared it with uh, especially if in my case the cardiology that have uh, videos that i've prepared for you i have prepared it literally from the heart with great passion not just to cover syllabus, but to make it as meaningfully um, and as palatably easy for you to uh, help you in solving MCQs and for enhancing your knowledge base as well. So go through those videos which could make a difference um, to improving your understanding of the concept 
in the upcoming days. These videos have been collaborated by super specialists like me and by faculties in general medicine as well from all over India, um, all of whom have uh, significant experience when it comes to um, answering or mentoring um, skills for cracking entrance exams. So that could be your initial 20 to 25 days. In the later 40 days, you could focus your attention on uh, memory enhancement. That is, there would not be sufficient time to learn new concepts or to improve comprehension. And this memory enhancement or revision can be uh, improved upon by solving MCQs. So you can either refer your uh, multiple choice question books, entrance exam books, or PrepLadder itself has over 24,000 solved MCQs, 10,000 of which are just for medicine, super speciality, um, entrance per se. And solving these MCQs will give you both confidence in getting the right answer, uh, in improving upon your memory which you are already familiar with and at times give you totally new nuggets of information which have repeated in previous exams. So that could be your later part of preparation. This is just a suggestion. Uh, you don't need to modify your already laid strategy. But I think this would help especially those who don't have a very clear path as to how they would like to approach the upcoming 60 days. Now towards the end of uh, this uh, preparatory time, probably in the uh, week before your exams, you can refer something called treasures in the prep ladder. The prep ladder on the top left corner of the screen in your app has something called treasures, which are a large number of placards uh, which have assimilated uh, information from past MCQs, past exams in an easy to remember uh, placard format. And you can flip through these. Uh, treasures or uh, just like flipping through the marked notes or marked portions of your textbooks so that you can uh, enhance your memory towards the end of the exam. Lists that are difficult to remember for longer than a week or a month or so. But remember one thing that the knowledge that you've acquired up until now does not go waste. Just like Amitabh Bachchan says in Kanbanega Karupiti, the Jnan that you have acquired is always permanent. Solving MCQs, cracking the entrance exam, winning one crore of rupees or the sub crore is a huge bonus and definitely an incentive. But never for once doubt that the knowledge that you have acquired is not worth um, what you hoped for. The knowledge that you have acquired is yours permanently. No one can take that away from you. It will always be helpful not only in uh, cracking the entrance exam but in your career in the future as well. So make sure that you devote more and more of your time honestly uh, with diligence in the days to come so that whatever knowledge you acquire helps you to crack the entrance and helps you even beyond that. I think as the time ticks towards November 13th and 14th it will seem that it is more and more critical but be aware that you have acquired most of the information that you would have once planned. You are definitely much better than how you were three months ago Two months down the line, you will definitely be the best version of yourself to crack this entrance exam. I hope that Prep Ladder and faculties like myself have helped you the best um, in the best way we can. And I wish you all the best. And I hope that most of you come through the other side of the exam with flying colors, with the seats of your choice, and the careers of your choice. This is Dr. Josh Kapinder signing off. All the best to all of you. Bye bye.